Constitutional law attorney Amir Benno. Let's get to uh, Mr. Kelly's arrest first. Uh, he was taken in, accused of going in. Now, I don't know that we know for sure whether he went into the premises, but what kind of legal exposure? And, and we'll leave aside, by the way, Amir, the, the timing of this coming on the very day they're going to start talking about these hearings in prime time to the American public. Yeah, well, good afternoon, Bob. Uh, you know, you can't really leave that aside because they had information that Ryan Kelly was at the, Janu at the Capitol on January 6th, dating back to about January 16th of uh of 2020 so or 2021 so for a year and a half they've known that he's been there why today why is today the day that they do it and again they do it in uh such a flamboyant over the top way brings back uh harkens to what they did to peter navarro and to rudy giuliani when they executed the search warrant and when they arrested roger stone uh they want to make a spectacle uh as far as the uh, exposure he faces right now it's for federal misdemeanor charges but you got to ask yourself why even these charges uh because when democrats for the most part democrats who stormed the capitol during brett kavanaugh's confirmation hearing they weren't charged with disorderly conduct they weren't charged with any of the same charges that that ryan kelly's uh faced with today they were charged with some you know very minor provision of the dc code that only carries with it up to 90 days. Right. So you have to ask, is there really a double standard? I think the answer is obviously yes. Um, and we've only got like half a minute left, and this is a big question, but if they were to recommend getting rid of the Electoral College, doesn't that take a constitutional amendment to do that? I mean, that's not a simple process, right? Yeah, I believe it would take a constitutional amendment. And again, this is part of the structural reforms that the Democrats want to do, getting rid of the filibuster, adding uh, states, uh, D.C., Puerto Rico as states, all of those sorts of things to, to rig the system structurally to give themselves every advantage. Uh, getting rid of the Electoral College would give the coastal states, California, New York, uh, Democrat blue states, uh, just an outsized say in, in national politics. And uh, that's not what our founding fathers uh, had in mind. And as you correctly pointed out, there was a big concern over what's known as the tyranny of the majority. Yeah. And that's exactly what would happen if they abolished the electoral Yeah, college. my degree in political science, I guess, went to some uh, <laughs> some result that's worthwhile here. Yeah, the, the, our founding fathers didn't set it up just to have popular elections. And there's a reason for that. And uh, we don't have time to go into it, but I appreciate you looking at it with us, Amir. Thank you so much, Amir Benno. Thanks, Bob.